want to see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. Thanks. Lemon. Lemon. Our amazing rectech jingle written by the wonderful and talented Whiskey Run. Mm -hmm. Whiskey Run. We're gonna, we're gonna let run. the whole band take credit. Everybody's gonna yeah. instead yeah, of you two guys. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, guys, I want to uh, bring attention to Whiskey Run. Actually, trying to raise some funds. Um, where can they find your info at? For the uh, raffle? We're on, we're for the raffle, it's www.whiskeyrun.us. That's right. You can get tickets there. You can get our album there merch all that kind of stuff and they're actually raffling off a rt 700 bull mm -hmm. so how, how much are the tickets 20 bucks 20 bucks a ticket buy a ticket five for 80 roll the duck five for 80 you guys oh, are yeah. giving them a discount yes oh, sir. so just go ahead and spend 80 bucks get five tickets you're more than likely going to win so just you're, probably win. Win. you're probably winning <laughs> you're probably going to win but thank Good you chance. whiskey run you guys are Appreciate amazing you. Thank you, the greatest song i've ever heard thank you brother thank you thank you Whiskey run, everybody. Whiskey run. Uh -huh. So today, of course, is our weekly, 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 weekly live cooking demonstration. What we'd like to call Fun Day Friday. My name is Jody Flanagan. I'm your Rec Tech Girls expert. With me, as always, is Chef Greg Muller, your director of culinary innovation. Happy Shark Week. Shark Week. Shark Week. Shark Week. Shark week. All right. Uh, so this Sunday is actually a double day it's national lasagna day and national chicken wings day so that's actually what we are bringing to you today um we, that's right absolutely so um for our caption contest i want to you guys we have a picture today oh yeah sorry matthew already did it for us yeah our picture last week was myself ray and stevie tasting a what do we call it jiggle balls Mm -hmm. It was an uh, oxtail that we cooked. So, Ted Dexheimer said, Crap, my rectectum is going to be burning after eating this. <laughs> That's a good one. Brett Murphy. So, he's got Ray, Jody, and Stevie. Ray said, Why would you think ordering a live gator would be okay? And then I say, They were buy a dead one, get a live one free. And then Stevie is saying, They don't know I put them in the pool. <laughs> And then there's a lot of other comments about body parts, and <laughs> it just got real, got real dirty. Um, but um, the winner from Instagram is going to be Mr. Gregory Bidwell, and his quote was, "And there wasn't many, there wasn't many to choose from. You know, there was a lot of, there was actually there was a lot to choose from, but not very many funny." No offense, everyone, but Greg got kind of close. Um, his caption was, is that the new acapella group, The Three Seasonings, practicing for their next gig at the World Barbecue Cup? So congratulations, Mr. Gregory Bidwell. You win yourself. Flag. What does he win? A flag. flag. So we're going to give you a flag, Mr. Gregory Bidwell. I thought it was a shark tail. I was like, I know, right? Shark. Shark Week. Happy Shark Week. Shark so week. congratulations. We're also doing a new thing with a YouTube contest. So... We are not going to explain the contest to you here. You actually have to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch this video when we upload it next week, probably-ish. Um, and then the directions for that contest will be in there. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch the video fully. That way you can win yourself a cool, awesome prize. Absolutely. All right. So uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, 
uh, YouTube, subscribe, um, and always hit your notifications. That way you guys know when we go live. So. Because we go live all the time. We do go live miss all the time. It. Don't want to miss it. Um, I went live at 10.30 at night at Ray's house one night. Ray's gone live at his house before. Uh, we go live from the Hunt Club. We go live from events. Rec Tech exclusive. Don't want to miss when, out. When we're living the Rec Tech lifetime. Rec Tech exclusive. Rec Tech exclusive. New word. New word. Hashtag. 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 Rec what was it? Amazion? Amazion. Was, that was a good one. We've made up a couple words here. Amazion. Rec Tectacular. Rec Tectum. Lasagna. 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 Let's lasagna. talk about this lasagna, so, chef. So we're going to go ahead and, and make some beautiful lasagnas here. We're going to do a gluten-free grilled vegetable lasagna. Amazing. We're also going to do a take on grandma's lasagna, although my grandmother never made lasagna of the delicious things she made. But first and foremost, your lasagna noodles. You want to boil these for about eight minutes in very salty water. You want it to take like, taste like the ocean. So if you're celebrating Shark Week, make sure your salt water for boiling pasta is nice and salty. All right, we'll cook it for about eight minutes. They're just a little al dente because I don't want it to uh, to get kind of mushy on us. So this I, is different from any other kind of type of lasagna, correct, Chef? This is just a fun way of doing it. I think it's easier to get out. It's good portioning. Yeah, so if, absolutely. You're, if you're trying to cook for you know two people or so, you can do a whole pan of it, take them out, freeze them, be good to go. Mm -hmm. So we've got 32 ounces of ricotta cheese. We've got about five ounces of chiffonade basil. Chiffonade. Chiffonade. So like ribbons, just mm -hmm. kind of whack it up. We'll do a couple eggs. Now here's where we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dirty this one up. We're gonna take about a teaspoon of Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub, and about a tablespoon of freaking Greek, and that's gonna be the base for our seasoning. We've got some basil and uh, garlic in here as well, and this is gonna be the cheese filling in both of our lasagnas. Okay. You said it's gluten free. Yep. So there's. So there's no gluten this will, in any of this. Uh, in in the vegetable lasagna. In the vegetable, in the vegetable lasagna. lasagna. Okay, yep. okay, so we'll just kind of stir this up. And the reason why we want the eggs in there is this cooks. I don't want a runny lasagna. I want it to be kind of the cheese to be nice and firm. And as this cooks, that, that egg is going to cook and coagulate and make it delicious. So we'll add a little bit of mozzarella cheese in here because mozzarella is delicious. A little bit of Parmesan. Give that a stir, and that's going to be the filling for both of these. So you technically could say this is three cheese lasagna. You could, mm -hmm. you could. We could throw a fourth one in there if we wanted. Ooh. What other, what, what fourth cheese which could you put in there, chef? Without messing it up. I really enough. like smoked gouda. Smoked gouda. It's really creamy, creamy and delicious. So we'll go ahead and build these. So I took a, a nine by thirteen aluminum pan, sprayed it with some nonstick spray, put in eight ounces of your favorite marinara or spaghetti sauce and we're going to smear about two ounces or so on each of these i've also don't worry you can go heavy it's fine yeah i've also cooked off uh, about a pound of italian sausage which is right here and you're going to put a little bit kind of all along Could you mix that with everything and just essentially spoon it out all at once, Chef? You could. I like to try to do it like this only because then I know everybody gets a good amount of meat. Aha. And then that way if you want to do some vegetarian, you know, you can... And then you just roll them up, looking delicious, and then put the seam on the bottom. And I said you can prep this pretty quick. I think it's faster to do this than to kind of stack the noodles. Now if you're doing traditional lasagna, one thing you want to do is if you're laying your noodles across like this on the bottom layer, lay them across like this on the second layer, and then come across like this on the third layer, and when those noodles kind of weave like that... Against the grain. Yeah, there you go. They, um, it won't slide off when you're cooking. So if you have any extra filling that falls on the board, just kind of slop it in the middle. What we'll do is we will wrap this tightly with aluminum foil. We'll put it on the smoker for about... I like extra meat. <laughs> extra meat. Extra meaty. We'll put this on the smoker for about uh, 35 minutes. Take it off. We'll just put a little bit of sauce on the top, a little cheese, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. That's delicious. So onto the grilled vegetable lasagna. So I've got some grilled eggplant, some mushrooms, Roma tomatoes, zucchini, squash, some onions, and broccoli. And one thing when you're slicing up your vegetables, now you can use a mandolin to do this too, <laughs> but you're looking to get this that thick okay about a quarter inch all right we season these off with some olive oil 
and some of our Dirty Girl Rub. Grilled them off on the bullseye. They look beautiful. They look delicious. It's a great presentation. So what we'll do is, and we will build this just like any other lasagna. We'll put some eggplant down first. And this is a great way to kind of hide some vegetables if you got some picky eaters in your family. Shout out Harry Doss. <laughs> we love you, Harry. We love you. So then that second layer, like I talked about before, I'll kind of come across the other way. And that way as this kind of cooks and shrinks down, it'll help uh, keep it together. So I usually go about two layers of veggies. And I'll take a little bit of our cheese mixture here. Oh, okay, I see what you got going here. And I don't get fancy with it, because what I'm gonna do is, once I put another layer of veggies, I'm gonna kind of just smash it down with my hands. So that, that ricotta cheese mixture will kind of go where I need it to go. So we'll take, uh, let's throw some, yeah. some broccoli in there. Crazy. I love baby. broccoli. A little bit of green onion, or sorry, a little bit of a grilled onion. And then we'll lay this on the top. And you guys can do any type of vegetable that you like, whatever your family prefers. Mm -hmm. And again, this is going to be a gluten-free version here. It's going to be delicious. Semi-healthy without the cheese. There you go. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, another layer of the cheese, smear it around. And that stuff's pretty easy to work with, it looks like, Chef. No doubt. Top, what I want to do is I do my mushrooms and tomatoes on the top. Any specific reason why? Just for color and look? I just I think it looks good. So we'll kind of stick these on here like that. Do a row of tomatoes, a row of mushrooms, and this will kind of mix in with that cheese layer. Since my hands got tomatoes on it. We'll just. And you used zucchini, correct? Zucchini. Not uh, cucumber. We used zucchini, use yellow cucumber? squash. Um, a lot of people prefer zucchini over cucumbers when doing this. I would say in this in this application, yeah, I think you probably want to use, use the zucchini. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of our Parmesan cheese. Just put all of it in there, Chef. All of it? Put all of it in there, buddy. We'll compromise. We'll go about, about that much. You get too much. I don't want to do salty. And we'll go a little oh, bit of. Uh, too salty. Hmm. A little bit of mozzarella. And this will go on, again, your smoker, 350, just like this for about an hour. And then, uh, so time tip, 350 for 350 about for one about an hour. hour, everybody. And then we'll let that rest when it comes out because it's going to be kind of hot and bubbly. Let it kind of relax a little bit, and that way you can slice it up and it's going to be delicious. And then this one we can put some cheese in too, right? Uh, we'll actually bake it without the cheese without first because it's going to steam because we're going we're gonna to wrap it tight. Because okay. if we put cheese on now, it might burn. And this way we can have a, a nice golden brown yeah, delicious You get a lot of cheese. questions about why to wrap it before you put it on the smoker. So the reason why I want to wrap is those noodles are about 80% cooked. I'll and I want to trap some of that steam in there and it one, it'll cook a lot quicker. So if I were to put that right on the smoker without it being wrapped, what's gonna happen is the noodles are gonna dry out and it's Absolutely. not gonna cook. So you're gonna have crunchy noodles, which is not necessarily a good thing. So, but again, you could also, um, you know, smoke some cheese. We, we put the sausage on the smoker so we get some good flavor there as well, that Italian sausage. Um, and like you said, the gouda, you could also add gouda, and that absolutely. gouda could be smoked. Yeah. Um, you know, so you could smoke all your cheeses before. Absolutely. Uh, and this is not technically our smoked lasagna. This is uh, just normal home style. Yeah, it's a great uh, way that you Lasagna can, two ways. A great way to do it, different way to, to look it up. So um, I think we're ready to run back and throw these on the... Uh, sweet, sweet. Smoke. I'm ready. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys in about five to ten minutes. Make sure you set your notifications so you know when we are going live. Uh, but we will uh, come back and we will be putting lasagna in and pulling lasagna out. So we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, 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 do,
Slapping that bass. <laughs> Slapping bass. that bass. You gotta hold it high. Bass. You gotta hold it high. www.whiskeyrun.us is where you can get your raffle ticket to win the RT700 Bull. So we encourage all of our viewers to go to www.whiskeyrun, spelled just like this, .us. Purchase a raffle ticket and a brand new CD or five with gold, solid gold hits. <laughs> solid, solid gold. gold. And a cool koozie. Y'all got these for sale? Mm -hmm. What? Y'all got apparel too? Yeah. And these shirts. Ooh, and these look at that shirts. shirts. Oh, oh gosh. My gosh. <laughs> Who designed that? Oh, I, I think uh, uh, Matthew Acosta. Matthew Acosta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got another answer to the question for you. You got another answer to the question for you. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Love you. Thanks for having us. Love you. Thanks for having us. Appreciate guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Please. <laughs> so disclaimer, I'm a trained professional. Only trained professionals can play the knife. So, so be careful. Be careful. I always play mine blade side down. Well, I just sharpened this earlier, so I didn't want to, you know, figure a little, little safe or unsafe to go. No, we're unsafe. I want to give a shout out to our friends at Terrapin. We are drinking their Luau. It's pretty tasty. God, I wish I had a turtle joke right now. What do you call a fake lasagna? An impasta! <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go back to uh, my, my joke last week. I still think it's probably the best joke ever. What do ducks toot from? It's butt quack. They're butt quacks. Ah, I'm killing it right now. Sign me up. This is Steve Harvey. Stand up is your next, ah. your next career. Do, do, do. Tasty. We might need to make that a single. We could. Sell it for 99 cents. On the old iTunes. Google app. Apple Play Store. Ringtone? Ringtone. Yeah. If you would like a Rectech ringtone, I want you to put yes. Make me a Rectech ringtone in the comment section. If we get over, what, what's the good number? Over 100? They were saying 40. I want 100 people say yes. Get me a Rectech ringtone. 100 people in the comment section. We'll combine Instagram and Facebook. Let me see it. I want to see it. Make it happen. We'll make it happen. All right, let's take a lap and see what's cooking. So we, we had some questions earlier on how much you can cook. So this is our RT340, the Trailblazer. We have two pans of our lasagna. We, have pans. we just put those in there. Yep, so that's our grilled vegetable and then our grandma's rolled lasagna. I feel like I'm going to price this right. They look amazing. So now we have our bullseye. This is the National Grand Champion Chicken Wing Grill. So these wings have been going for about two hours at 275 degrees. That's looking delicious. Color, chef. Oh, yeah. How'd you do those wings? So we dry brine those wings, but we'll get into that process here oh, in a little, a little okay. bit. Look at these ones here, 275 for two hours. Oh, yeah. So this is my process for wings. I know everybody's got a different different scenario. Those are all flats. They are, in fact. I let my OCD check in, uh, kick in a little bit. Chicken. 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 Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Chicken, chicken. And then in the RT700 bowl. Isn't that a restaurant? We have our drums. Some color. On that extra shelf for the RT680, RT700. We have 100, 144 wings. So now here's my process. We went two hours, right? We're going to crank that up to 375. Now, if I had my phone, I could do it from there. We're going to crank this to 375. There you go. Oh, yes. oh, we're yes. going to turn this up just a little bit. Let that come up to about 375. And for those of you that say that the bullseye don't smoke, I know you can see it Instagram right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's yeah. flavor. Oh, that's it's flavor. Flavor. So we cooked some lasagna earlier, so we can take a look at that. We just pulled this out. We did. Of the same mini, we, we were did. able to fit a whole pan and a half pan. In Absolutely. It. No, I'm just joking. Just joking. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have, um, what was that? Six, 12, 18 portions of lasagna here. 18, 18 portions of lasagna. And then I'm kind of a fatty when it comes to lasagna, so I'll only cut this into probably nines, maybe twelves. But that's our grilled veggie. That looks good. You can good, see man. it's still a little juicy on the sides. A little jiggle, jiggle, so jiggle, all jiggle, that jiggle. In those, uh, 
So before you go cut into it, just let it hang out a little bit. Let it hang out. Let it melt together. Let it kind of just sell. So we've got our chicken wings here. And we've got some very fancy sea salt. So this is some Arctic sea salt. Really coarse sea salt. You can see that. Look at look how coarse that is. Okay. This has some great flavor to it. So not only is it salty because it's salt, but you almost have like a little a little mineral uh, essence in there. It's actually really tasty. Shout out to Brad Orson of the shed. He actually got us some of this salt. We were actually Brad Orson and us, unless somebody else took some from you know uh, Memphis, but we are technically under only the two people in the United States that have this specific it's Arctic salt. salt. It's amazing. It's it's got great flavor. It's got yeah. so we're gonna dry brine these wings. So I know you're asking what what the heck is dry brining. So usually when you brine a wing, right, you've got salt, sugar, and water. But we're gonna go just salt. But first, I like to separate my wings. So if you look at your wing right here, right where that joint flexes. Put your knife straight through. Okay, and you can save these, smoke these, make some chicken stock. Chicken stock! Now, I like to separate my flats and drums because the flat will cook about 15 minutes quicker. And then again, that joint right there, just go right through. Boom. And like I said, I'm a little OCD, so I do my, my wings and drums separate. You don't have to, but that's the way I choose to live my rectic lifestyle. And be safe, have a super sharp knife. It is never good to cut chicken with a dull knife. You can hurt yourself. You can also use shears if you want. Um, I'm not a fan of the shears just because it's one more thing to wash. Yeah, you gotta take them apart. You gotta take you gotta them apart, go. just a sharp knife. But remember guys, if you want that ringtone, I want you to put in the comments section, yes, I want a rectech ringtone. Remember, 100 people have to put it in there. You can't be 100 of the same person with the comment. <laughs> Yeah, we'll make that happen for you guys if you want a Rectech ringtone. So there we go. We have our flats and drums. And what we will do is take, put them back in here. And I'm going to salt these. So it's going to be about a tablespoon of salt per pound of wings. Okay, this was my dirty hand, people. I'm not contaminating the salt. Let's just listen to that. So heavy. Pretty, very dense salt. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna salt bay. No, it might actually hurt his skin. Yeah, you know, I actually did salt bay with the Ben's heifer dust and uh you got tennis salt though. Yeah, ow. 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 It actually <laughs> irritated my skin, I guess, because of all the salt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you guys be careful out there. I'm gonna brine these for about an hour under refrigeration. Now since we're only going that that short, I'm not gonna rinse them afterwards. Okay, we didn't use oh. that much salt. Didn't. Yep, so about a tablespoon per pound of chicken. I like dry brining my uh, salmon. And I mean, when I dry brine it, I completely cover it in salt. Um, and then I'll wash it off before I cook it. But these we are not gonna wash off. Nope, we're just gonna, we'll season them up. So I know we gave you a, a hint of the wings, so we take a look. These are the flats. You can see, look how nice and crispy that's getting. Look at that, look at that fat, like, that chicken juice just bubble. Chicken juice. So we season these with some raised front row master blends. Ask questions about the uh, trailblazer second shelf there. Oh, available at www.rectechgrills.com. You can also fit your casserole pans here as well if you're doing more. Saw two uh, 12 pound briskets mm -hmm. go in there last yep. week showing up. So we'll let those go um, maybe another 15 minutes and those will be done. If you wanted to sauce them, now would be the time to do that. Okay, I like a I like a dry crispy wing, and then the wings on the the bowl. We did that same salt, right? And then we took some tiger sauce, which is like a sweet chili glaze. We used some of that on there, and again, these will be about another 35, 30 minutes or so. Do you flip the chicken? So at one hour, I flip the chicken. Actually, I didn't do it this time. I want to give a shout out to Ben Country Club. He flipped it for me. I don't flip no chicken. This yeah. convection I got people for that. About it. And then, for those of you that are our Twitter fan base, Mr. Jordan Johnson flips the wings on the hey, trailblazer. Hey, let me get a little technical for you guys real quick. Come on over here. Beer assistant. Thank you. I want to show you guys something. A lot of, we get a lot of calls. A lot of, uh, so we're cooking this chicken, right? Do you see the amount of grease that is at the bottom right now? It is draining down in here. Uh, to the right hand side of the grill. Now, if we, you know, 
wanted to do some steaks, hamburgers, chicken breasts, pork chops, anything above 400 degrees, we would want to change our we would want to change our aluminum foil. Why? So we won't have a grease fire. Right now, if you were to pull this chicken off and crank this grill up, there is still a lot of grease on that trip pan, and that will give you a grease fire. You do not want that. Just clean, just go ahead and put a new uh, piece of aluminum foil on there, and you will be good to go. Uh, we're gonna let this chicken cook yep. a little bit longer. It has been two hours at 275. Chef Greg cranked them up to 375 for about, how long, Chef? About, about 30 minutes, 25 minutes on the uh, flat, and about 35, 40 minutes on the drums. Perfect, perfect. So we'll be back in about five to 10 minutes. Uh, we will be going through. We're gonna make some fresh, garlic smoked bread. garlic, garlic bread. Yes, uh, I love uh, garlic bread that has uh, the cloves that have been, what is it called? Uh, you cut off the top, put some oil in, in it. That's exactly what, we what is it called? Um, delicious. I don't know. It's called I something. I'll find out and I'll let you guys know. But we'll be back if in about you know five what it to is, ten comments. minutes. Yeah. If you know what it is. Oh, also, I want to know if you guys like flats or drums. In the office, we have, we have. It's literally half and half. Flats, like we have drums, half. Flats, half drums, drums. See, flats, people are drums, freaking out. Drums, freaking drums, out. Drums, what drums, you want drums, to comment? Drums, 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 drums. Freaking out about flats and drums. <laughs> They're like, doing? God, they Are sounded like so much stupid. better in the first and second segment. What are you doing, Jody? I'm slapping the bass. You don't know? You ain't, you ain't up on this. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't living the Rectech lifestyle. <laughs> you don't know how to slap the bass. <laughs> Some bass. Some bass. <laughs> you know what I'm ready to slap? Some I'm ready to slap some garlic bread. bread in my mouth. Mm. Mm. All right, so to make this the ultimate garlic bread, we took our whole... Wait, 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 wait. What are we doing? We are making the ultimate garlic bread. We're going to have some haters out there. Ultimate smoked garlic garlic bread? There you go. We're going to have some haters out there because there's a secret ingredient. Trademark. Hashtag. So we took these, cut about a quarter inch off the top. Roasted garlic. little olive oil. We went 225 for about two hours. And then... I mean, smell a vision. Just smell that. Instagram. Some folks like to put it in uh, tin foil. You can. And uh, just let it sit on your grill. But way better. So we squeeze. We peeled stuff. about 7,000 cloves of garlic that were smoked. And we're just going to give this a quick chop. Quick chop. We have two pounds of butter. How much? Two pounds of butter. Would you recommend somebody doing two pounds of butter for their family? Every weekend. Okay. About how many loaves will this, uh... We're gonna do like eight loaves. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you know... It's a big fam. It's, I mean, we're feeding the Rectech life, the Rectech family. So we'll chop this up. And I like my garlic a little on the chunky side. Texture. And that stuff is gonna be delicious. Okay, guys, if you, uh, if you want us to supply you with a Rectech ringtone, put yes, I want a Rectech ringtone in the comments below. Also, put in the comments below whether or not you like flats or drums. We got a battle. People, it's coming to fisticuffs. It is coming to fisticuffs. Yeah. Flats or drums. Y'all, yeah. quit it. Drums. Quit it. Drums. 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 Flats. 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 I'm a flat guy, but you know. So to this, we're going to take about a tablespoon of freaking Greek. Exactly. One tablespoon. Yep. Sure enough. And then, sorry guys. Mayonnaise, Ooh. yes, mayonnaise. Dukes mayonnaise. or Hellman's? Dukes or Hellman's? Dukes. Which one do you like? Dukes. Which one do you like? <laughs> so this is Hellman's mayonnaise. And I know you guys out there are like, why in the, are you putting mayonnaise in there? I put mayonnaise on everything. So here's why. So when that butter melts, what's gonna happen? It's just gonna go away. Well, I don't want it to go away. I want to stay right where it is, right on top of my bread. That mayonnaise, when it cooks, will almost create like a little cheesy layer on the top. It's just oil. And that butter won't, it's just oil dust, won't go away. Delicious egg flavored oil. So we're gonna whisky this up. Whiskey this up? Whoa. Shout out Whiskey Ron. Look at their Oh, heavens. Okay. Betsy. All right, so it's two pounds of butter. Uh, a pound of mayonnaise. Exactly, it's two to one. So it's two parts butter, one part marinade. So 
So if you don't want to do two pounds, you can do a half a pound and a quarter of a pound. So here we go. So we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little trade ski here. We're gonna take our garlic butter, our freaking Greek garlic butter, trademark. Hashtag. Hashtag trademark. Oh gosh. Look at that glazy goodness. Ready? Oh. It's so soft. It's like angel wings. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in the arms of an angel right now. Here. I feel like I'm in a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. <laughs> <laughs> just no sad puppies. Those puppies get me every time. I'm just gonna. So then we're gonna take a little bit of <laughs> our cheese. Not a lot, because it's not cheese bread. But what kind of cheese? Bit. This little Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. And then we're going to take a little bit of that Arctic sea salt and just kind of hashtag flake away. Arctic sea salt. Mm. God, that stuff is like, it's just mineralistic. Perfect <laughs> salt, but it's just delicious. All right, you want to lift, up, really have lift no... up a trailblazer for me? Sir? Stuff will dry you out, boy. And we'll let that smoke away. Look at that, guys. Delicious. Now, and Chef, what'd you say? Was that, we're at 350 right now? 350? We'll let that go for about 20 minutes. About 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Oh, wait, there's more. Now, what kind of bread is this? So, this is a rustic ciabatta bread. Ciabatta. And I like a little chew to my bread. So that was an Italian, the first bread was an Italian loaf, and this is a, a ciabatta bread. So this has like, more, more you, tooth to it. You said you like chewy. I like crunch on the outside, and that's right, a little bite to it on the inside. Mm -hmm. God, that stuff looks so good, Chef. It's pretty stupid delicious. Is there, can we put this, can we make a recipe for this? It will be posted oh! in our notes section. Mm. In the notes section, check it out, guys. We're going to share the that end of, uh, Jody, what beer are you drinking? I, personally, right now, am drinking the Terrapin. Luau, which is a passion fruit orange guava IPA. I don't know a lot of you beer snobs out there would be like, eh, that ain't Bud Light. It's cultured here. And it's not cold sweet. It's got great no, flavor. It's, it's got great uh, bite hoppiness to it. So a little little cheese, a little fromage. And speaking of beer, we are the presenting sponsors for Beer Fest, the fifth annual Beer Fest here in Augusta, Georgia, August 18th. You guys, uh, check out our Facebook page. We have pinned a link up to Beer Fest. If you want to get tickets uh, through that link, you can. Tickets are also available at GeorgiaLinaTix.com. I think we have over $2,500 worth of prizes to give away that we are personally giving away, not to mention the other vendors, uh, the other beer uh, representatives. Uh, whatnot. We've got over $2,500 of stuff we've gotten from local companies and national barbecue companies that want you to come and visit us for Beer Fest. So make sure you buy your tickets to Beer Fest. I'm excited. Dude, I'm so fired up about it. I'm excited. <laughs> They're gonna let us... The plan is to park the Mamba in Oh! There. You know what? I like that plan. Yeah. And I'm gonna stick Ben Lowe on top of the Mamba and he is gonna record yeah. all day. And we've actually got our photographers some behind the scene access to the James Bond Arena. So we are gonna provide some amazing cool shots of this event. Uh, we will be going live. Um, Speaking of not, amazing not shots. Showing... Oh, sheesh. <laughs> and look at that. That butter's melting, but it's not going anywhere. Why? Because we put mayonnaise in the butter. The butter's fat. They don't want to go nowhere. Whoa. Whoa, I just I, I just buttered your arm. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. I just buttered it. You just buttered my biscuit, buddy. <laughs> That was almost bad. Right there. Look at that. Sorry. Sorry, Instagram. How long, Chef? 350 what? We're going to go about 25, 30 minutes or so. Okay. And I think we're about ready would to pull. Also, would you also be able to cook this in the bullseye? You could, in fact. Oh, man. I bet it fast. Oh, my God. Not the butter. It's mayonnaise. Mayonnaise down. <laughs> mayonnaise down. Hey, what is what do you think Arnold Schwarzenegger says before he eats this pasta? 
Hasta la pasta, baby. <laughs> Is that, that's not right. Pasta la vista. Pasta, <laughs> dang it. So dang it. So close. God, I ruined everything. Ah. Your buildup was great. God, I almost got it. I even have the, I even have the piece of paper in my pocket. Ooh, baby. So these were glazed. Beautiful, crispy looking. Ooh. These were glazed with that tiger sauce. What? 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 They're freaking out. Give me them drums. So what we're going to do is for lunch, we're going to make the flat folks eat the drums. <laughs> the drum folks eat the flats. That way they get along. But you said this was 144? 144 wings. I think we we fit 180 on here before. Yeah, well you look, we've got plenty of room yeah. in between. We have fit 180 wings on here before. And this is the RT700 Bull here, uh, available with that wide pellet, Wi-Fi connectivity. No, not my drum. It also has the dual meat probes. Uh, and all of this comes standard. You do not have to pay extra for it. It is sitting on the competition cart with our front, our stainless steel front folding shelf. It's got the 40 pound hopper. So you will, you will literally, if you fill the hopper up, you will not run out of pellets during a whole single cook. It is equipped right now with the second shelf available at rectechgrills.com. This grill comes with a industry-leading six-year warranty. And I'm telling you, industry-leading because everybody else has a two- to three-year warranty on all of the critical components, like the computer, like the uh, fan, like the auger, the RTD temperature probe, the igniter. All of our grills come equipped with a ceramic ignition system that is rated for over 100,000 cycles. That is lighting your grill once every day for up to 300 years. We have a six year warranty backing up that industry leading product. That ceramic ignition system uh, is available at other grill uh, companies for a $200 upgrade. It, is, it comes standard in all of our pellet grills. Uh, so we've done that for you, the customer, because we know we stand behind our product. It has a six year warranty, and we're putting a six year warranty on like the industry leading igniter rod, and it's just absolutely sick. Um, other companies out there with the 10 year warranty on the body, that's bull crap, yep. that's bull crap. You want a higher warranty on those parts that are more likely to break. Yep. But you just pull the wings off, they look amazing. Look amazing. What is the internal temperature for chicken, Chef, that makes it safe? You wanna to go to 165. Okay. And uh, since we smoke those low and slow and crisp smoke, they're probably about 175, 180. But again, they're gonna be super moist and tender. Why? Because we drive around. Because we drive around, that's right. And we're going to let them sit for we'll about five minutes. We're going to let all those juices that are moving around in there all fast and quick and nimbly bimbly like. We're going to let them slow down. That way the juices will stay in the meat. That way when we bite into it, it will be nice and moist. That skin will be good and crisp. Love that, word. that meat will be nice and pink from the smoke and just pull away from the bone nice and clean. Wait a second, Chef. I thought pink meat and chicken was bad. No. Smoked chicken, perfectly pink. Wait. Pull away from the bone. So if you go to like a restaurant and you bite into your chicken and there's a little bit of blood in there, if you know it's above 165, is it still unsafe to eat? No, it, it's safe to eat. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes, like especially if you've got uh, like a uh, like half chicken or so that's not smoked, sometimes you do get a little pinking on the bone. If they buy frozen chicken, some restaurants buy frozen chicken, um, that freezing process will pull that marrow out of the bone and that sometimes you get that little redness right there. But. But don't worry guys if you see any blood or anything as long as it's at 165 you're good to go yeah. this segment is running a little bit long we're going to come back in about five to ten minutes again if you want us to make a rectech ringtone put it in the comment section say yes i want a rectech ringtone also if you are a flat person put the word flats in there if you're a drum person put the word jump drums in the comment section uh and then hellman's or dukes we are going to solve that uh lifelong question right here today which mayonnaise is better hellman's or dukes Put your answers in the comment section below. We'll see you in about five to ten minutes when we're inside in the AC eating and drinking. Boom. Boom. See you in the rectangle. Oh. Do, 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 do. Alligators and swamp fries. Living the rectangle lifestyle. Do, do, do. <laughs> do, do, do. Don't burn your frenulum, folks. Rectangle lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do 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 I got no booty. No ass talk here. Do 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 do
I heard garlic keeps sharks away. <laughs> you, Chef said he heard garlic keeps chef away. Sharks. sharks. Chef's away. No. Vampires. Sharks. Vampires. 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 Chef said garlic keeps sharks away. Shark. Chefs like sharks. Hashtag shark week. Achoo. Sorry to state it's delicious wing. It was literally the best wing I've ever had in my life. Dry brine. Mm. Moist. Tender. Juicy. Flavorful. What are some amazing wing flavors that you like? Do you guys have a specific wing flavor that you like? My favorite is the Wild West wing at Wild Wing Cafe. That is my favorite wing. Chef, as, wait a second, <laughs> as one of 18 master chefs in the world, what is your favorite wing flavor? I'm a huge fan. Wait. Build huge, it up, build it up. Huge fan. Of? Huge. Huge. Of the dry, oh, roasted garlic and Parmesan wing. Oh, wow. Mm. Very good choice. See, good choice. I don't want to, I spent all this time making a really good crust on the skin. I don't want to make it soggy. I figured you would say something like octopus ink, you know, <laughs> grape jelly. <laughs> yes, general manager of Rectech Grills, Ben Lassat. Can you tell everybody the story about how you invented the Daytona Oh, no, 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 no. We don't get to hear that. No, 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 no. No. Okay, yes, I will. As a matter of fact, <laughs> so I was working at one of many F&B business ventures that I took. <laughs> business ventures. They wanted me to become a partner, so I had to work in the kitchen first of a uh, nationally chained restaurant <laughs> that used to sponsor the lower level of the PGA Tour. Uh, an owl is their mascot. Is that the... Ooters. Uh, C. Yes. Um, what was the what was the NASCAR driver that died? Alan Quick. Shout out Alan Quick and his family. We love you. Um, but one day I went to Myrtle Beach to work for this company during Bike Week, um, and I threw some fried wings on the grill on the flat top, and I put a little bit of SPG salt, pepper, garlic for those of you who don't know on there, and I tossed them, tossed them, tossed them, and then I tossed them in wing sauce. And thus, the Daytona wing was was born at this restaurant. And this uh, lonely little kitchen guy got absolutely no credit from that national chain organization. It's a shame. They just grabbed it, made it their own, took it, tweaked it a <laughs> lot, and then turned it, and then they made it. Then they called it the Daytona wing. It was made in Myrtle Beach. You know, it's not a beach. Son of a beach. Enough about me. I think it's time to taste some lasagna. Thank you, Ben, but for first, bringing that to everyone's attention. So I know Sunday and Friday we're kind of partial to the canned carbonated chilled beverages. Oh, but today... Woo. What do we got today for us? We've got some beautiful Chianti. So this is an Italian red wine. So be careful. All of those Chianti imposters, if you go to the store and your bottle of wine is in a wicker basket, don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> All that money was spent on the wicker basket, not on the wine, I promise. Every time you go to an Italian restaurant, yeah. you're like, oh, look at this Italian wine. Don't drink that. No. It's well, not that good. No. That is cooking wine, it's, essentially. It's, it's it's swill. Me? So. Chef Greg, I'm a lot of things. I want a nice red wine. But a wine connoisseur, I am not. I want some nice legs on that. Look how thick that wine is right there. Just running down that glass nice and slow. Yeah. Look at that. So the, would this be a great pair? With our Italian, I would, sh I would, lasagna, I would show garlic bread and wings. It smells delicious. delicious. So. That's why they have Ki a lot of Chianti in Italian restaurants, everybody, because it pairs well with Italian cuisine. That's tasty. All right, let me get you served up here. Whoa, wait a second. I'm Russian. I'm just, buddy. You got to give us the rundown. <sighs> okay. I need time attempts, and I need grills. All right. So this one here, we went on the RT700 bowl. 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Then we unwrapped it, add a little sauce on top and cheese, and went another 15 minutes. So this was rolled up with that spinach, ricotta, and garlic mixture in the uh, Italian sausage that we smoked off. Oh, Italian sausage. And then the little guy here, this is our grilled vegetable lasagna. So this is our gluten-free lasagna. Again, featuring that spinach, ricotta mixture with grilled zucchini, eggplant, squash, Portobello mushrooms, onions, and tomatoes. And then we made that. But you could essentially use any vegetable. 
Absolutely. I know that question is going to be out there. Anything you like. Any vegetable you like, guys, it can be used. Just make sure you cut it thin. That way it cooks properly. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So I like rolling it up because one makes portioning this easy. I'm fired so up about this guy. How many people have gotten the first piece of lasagna out that perfect? Usually the first one is a sacrifice. None of y'all. None of y'all. Look at that. That's My perfect. favorite part, as you guys can see, is this right here. This crunchiness. Oh. Mm. And then this right here, how it sticks up, no cheese covered it. It's going to be a little harder. That's my favorite part. I'm a texture eater. I love textures, love nuts, love anything crunchy. Asian. Asian. So we'll go ahead and slice up some of that. Look, ready? And since we let it rest, look at that. Well, it's that, staying was together. Still, that was still a great piece, sir. Can't do no, we'll go around the same Oh, thing. you son of a Sly guy. Now look at that. There's no, there's no run there. Well, I'm thinking green, green peppers and red peppers and yellow peppers in here. Would that be delicious? Sure enough, good. What about sweet peppers? You could the little baby bell peppers. But do you think the sweet would mess with the uh, uh, herbage? No, I think it'd be delicious. It'd be, it'd be delicious. delicious. Perfect. Perfect. If you wanted to make that again, not vegetarian, you could put <clears throat> some meat in there. But hold on, wait. There's more. Wait. I know you want to try it. Uh, as fast as possible. As fast as possible. I like burning frenulum. We don't want to burn our frenulum. <laughs> so, to make sure that this is going to taste as delicious as possible, you got to do what? You got to eat it with the girl. You got to eat it with the girl. So, come in close. And how'd you do this? A little bit So, we, uh, we took this soft butter, some mayonnaise. So, two parts butter, one part mayonnaise. Don't be afraid of the mayonnaise, everybody. Roasted, do not be a part of smoked the garlic, 225 for two hours. Just listen. Come in close. Listen. Ready? I'll do slow-mo again, ready? Sorry, Chef, did you hear something? That bread was so crunchy and loud, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, what? 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 No. Mm. Mm. And that mayonnaise held that butter right on top. Mm. And look, it's still, watch, ready? We'll look at the drippy drip. Look, it's still in there. Frenches or Hellman's? Put in the comment oh, section, yeah. Frenches Dukes or Hellman's? Or Hellman's. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold this, on, we're, not, we're not doing, oh. Now I want to know. French's or Hellman's? Give it to me, comment section, now. All right, so we'll put this right here. But we were also Duke's uh -huh. and Hellman's. Flats and drums. Ah. Flats and drums. Flats, 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 flats. There's a mutiny. There's a mutiny here at RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. I'm going to settle this debate. It's Flats and it's Hellman's. Because you got to bring out the best. Oh. You're fifty percent correct, Chef. Do you want me to take your shirt off? Or do you want to have? Do you want to come to fisticuffs right now? I'm sure Facebook would love to see Jesus. you take your shirt off. I know. I know Becky would. Remember, put in the comment section. Yes, I want a rec tech ringtone. If you guys want uh, us to do rec tech lifestyle, sell it as a ringtone. But yes, I want rec tech as a ringtone. I just can't stop in the comment section cutting dude, this crunchy. Dude, dude, I just can't stop saying dude, dude, dude. Like every day when I come to work, you know, if I'm early, you know, we used to have to punch in the code before we had a warehouse manager. Now David Wright unlocks everything for us, so I don't, I never get to open with the code anymore. So I just open the door, it's all unlocked, right when I walk in, and immediately I go to singing. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. That was so good. Do, do, do. And then I like to throw in my own words. I know they have great uh, uh, lyrics to the song, but I like saying, um, do, 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 whole hogs and alligators, <laughs> chicken wings, lasagna. <laughs> I like, you know, throwing out words that we cook in the business. That's yours, buddy. Okay. They've already, right. uh, so let's, uh, let's cheers. Let's back off. And let's, uh, let's try this, and then I think we're going to go into the wings. Oh, man, these wings are going to be crazy, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow everybody's mind in half a second. Wow. That's tasty. What are you tasting there, Chef? I'm tasting a little bit of blackberry. Berries. A little bit of fig. I'm getting a little bit of oak at the end. Just a little bit of just oak. Just a little bit of That oak. was the last thing I was going to say, was just a yep. little bit of oak. But like maybe 15 seconds later, you kind of get that sweet fig coming out. You blow out your nose, so. Hashtag oh, bomb feet. Right along. It's delicious. Right along. So. Uh, thank you to Mike Yodolowski. Uh, now look at who that. actually uh, provided us with a lot of wine here at Rec Tech Grills. We so do love you, Mike. We've rolled that up. It's trapped all that delicious stuff on the inside. Now, I'm fired up about this because I am not a fan, you know, uh, of like Chef said, cutting into the lasagna and getting part of that noodle. You know what? I want that whole noodle. Mm. Mm. Alligators and, mm. and lasagna. 
But yeah, still rolled, still got a lot of that sa sausage. Mm -hmm. This lasagna, sa sausage lasagna. That's good. Mm -hmm. You could probably put beef. You could probably put bacon. Venison, bacon. Deer, elk. This is gonna be a massive Bison, moment. or buffaloes. Ready. Mm. The ciabatta bread is the way to go, everybody. Hands down, the way to go. Mm -hmm. you, see the, you see the chunk of garlic right there? Mm -hmm. That's what you want. You see the seasoning. That's what you want. You see the golden brown. Mm. Mm. Like I was saying earlier, crunchy on the outside, but yet chewy on the inside. Amazing. This is my plate. All right. So show me what you want these wings because right. I'm. I, I I just can't wait. Well, tell everybody what you did to the wings first, and then I'll dress them up. I guess I should stop eating garlic bread. No, mm -hmm. you never stop eating garlic bread, buddy. What is this? Team, what is this? This is a. Is this some kind of ranch that's a, looking that's thing? A ranch. Yep. Looking? Ranch. It's just ranch. Uh, just some ranch. That's a debate in itself. You guys aren't lying to me? Hidden Valley. It doesn't look really like ranch. A little ranch with some freaking Greek man. Hidden Valley of Craft. Give it to me Hidden now. Valley. Comment section. Go. All day. Alright, so the wings to recap. We split the flats and the drum. That is some good range. <laughs> they made it. No. They made it. Dill, parsley, chives. They made it. The, I gave them a recipe. Blown away right now. Blown away at the media team. They're good people. You know? They're talented musicians. You know? I didn't. I'm getting choked up in this. I'm proud of the media team. <laughs> you know, they're they're multi-talented. Mm -hmm. They're young. They know how to they know they now know how to work. They know what it's all about. Driven individuals. They're driven. They're young. They're right. ready. To come to work every day, and I'm proud of the media team. And they're proud representing some new rectangle. Rachel's plant. even in there. She's busting her butt, editing videos. <laughs> she's well, actually, she's, she's actually doing she's reverse. Out. She's <laughs> doing actually. She's actually doing reverse. <laughs> what are those? Uh, reverse arm lifts. Uh, see, Rachel's working on her form. <laughs> she's she's taking she's a living break. The lifestyle. She's taking a break from editing videos. Living the rec tech lifestyle. And she's working out. All right, so we're getting a little long here. So we, gotta, we are we getting long. I'm wrapping. sorry, buddy. I'm, so, I'm, I'm excited. This sorry, Friday. I know. This is the last segment. We just want to make it go. Forward. But these wings, we we split. Cody them. Howard. Cody hey, Howard. Cody, how you doing, Cody? That's mine. <laughs> I'm trying to steal my wine. So to recap these wings, we split the flat and the drumette. We dry brined these wings. We took one tablespoon of that fantastic Nordic sea salt per pound of chicken. We let those marinate for about six hours. He's going to get that big old tub of Look salt. Look how much of this we've used because it is so good. If you guys have a chance to purchase this Nador sea salt, take, take the chance, roll the dice, spend the money on it. It is amazing. One of two folks in the world that <laughs> US. US that have this. Shout out Brad Orson. Buddy, you've given me a lot of stuff, buddy, but this salt is freaking amazing. Thank you so much. That takes the salt. And then his beautiful sister, Brad, uh, Brooke Lewis, uh, gave us a giant tub of mustard this size, too. Shout out Brooke Lewis. So we dry brine those wings. The drums, we took a bottle of tiger sauce, which you can find at Walmart, uh, Publix, Kroger. It's like a sweet chili sauce. The flat wings, we added some front row master blend. Two hours at, 220, at 275. We then increased the temperature to 375 for another 30 minutes on the flats, about 45 minutes on the drums. We did flip those wings halfway over uh, at that one hour mark. Chef likes to flip. I don't like to flip. You, hey, flip or no flip. Flip or no flip. Flip, or no flip, flip. Put it in the comment section now. All right, well, I'm gonna eat this last piece while you do. Yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, Ben. Hello, one of our photographers wanted to do this. We have this amazing garlic butter, essentially. And I love garlic parmesan wings. So we have these wings right here that Chef did. We're gonna throw that garlic in there, okay? Oh yeah. I'm also gonna hit him with some of this delicious, shout out, Moore's Marinade and Sauce. This is their creamy ranch buffalo. Benlo suggested this. This is oh, going to be delicious. Yeah. So we're also going to toss some, toss a, just a little bit in there, just a little bit to give it some heat and some of that good ranch that buffalo is. flavor. I don't know. And I love giant stainless steel bowls. I don't know why, but I like tossing my wings in them. <laughs> so I feel like we have a winner. All right, so you going flats or drums? 
Which do you like, Chef? I like flats. He likes flats, so I want you to have a drum. Drums. 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 You're gonna eat a drum right now. Drums. And then I like drums, so I'm gonna eat a flat right now. I just feel my heart like clogging up right now. I literally just tasted it off of my fingers, and it tastes amazing. All right, so cheers. And God, again, my, I'm a texture eater. I love the thick sauce. It's on the wing. And I can feel it's still crispy underneath. For sure. Mm. I love, I like mm. flats. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Is it, is it? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm. So that would be a buffalo garlic butter ranch wing. One more time, JJ. A buffalo garlic butter ranch wing. We're just gonna ha hashtag this stupid. Put some stupid. parmesan on it. Oh my god. Menlo, where you at? <laughs> Menlo, where you at? <laughs> JJ. Buddy. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's, let's buddy, do it. Buddy, buddy, just do it. <laughs> ah, just like Nike. Don't be afraid. Mm. We're living the right time lifestyle here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh wait, I gotta toss just a little bit more. A fresh plane in itself. Mm. Just toss it in oh, itself. Look at this point, Jody. We just need to add some more wings. No, no. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Jordan. <laughs> Again, I want to thank everybody for joining in today. We hope you learned something. We want to send a special shout out to IcerOutdoors.com. If you guys want 10% off of your hard cooler, soft cooler, hammock purchase, please go to IcerOutdoors.com. Put some stuff in your cart and put Rectech 10 uh, in your promo code, and you will receive 10% off of your entire order. So if you're ordering a thousand dollars worth of coolers, we'll give you a hundred bucks off. Just type in Rectech 10. They're an amazing company. They're based right here out of Evans, Georgia, uh, where our new facility is going to be built at. So please, please, please show them some love. I also want to bring attention to our friends at Whiskey Run, Rectech Lifestyle, who wrote our jingle for us. I want you. I encourage you. Go to www.whiskeyrun.us. You can purchase this amazing, amazing CD. I know CDs are out, but you can probably also do it on iTunes. Um, but go there and buy a raffle ticket for an RT700, guys. You, just one raffle ticket can win you the grill of your life. You can make all this delicious food. Absolutely. You can make all this delicious food. You slap this CD in your CD player, you, you crank it up to 10. And you live the right You put it on the overhead speakers. You, you take your shirt off, you put your swim trunks on, and you get in your pool. You live the rec tech lifestyle. Whiskeyrun.us. Buy a raffle ticket. $20 can win you a, a $1,200 grill. Ooh, just spin a little bit. Also, uh, we will be at the fifth annual Augusta Beer Fest here in Augusta, Georgia at the beautiful James Brown Arena. Uh, shout out. Uh, to all of the folks that work out at the Augusta Entertainment Complex, we love you. You guys are doing an amazing job. You are renovating the Bell. You're making the James Brown Arena better. We thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And we back you. Uh, we do not want to move the James Brown away from downtown, so we are with you 110%. Uh, but we encourage you guys to purchase tickets at GeorgiaLinaTix.com for the 5th Annual Augusta Beer Fest. We are presenting it. Love the Mamba there. We will have the Mamba there. Ben Lowe's going to be on top of it, taking people's pictures. He's also going to have behind the scenes. We might also put him on a zip line going from corner to corner and just have him taking photos the whole way. That'd be awesome. And then he's going to be going back. And then he's going to be going back. So, but no, it's going to be a great time. Chef's going to be cooking. I'm going to be there drinking beer. Ray is going to be there with Beth, of course. Ben will be there. You get to meet all of us. But uh, you'll also be supporting us as well. So, uh, we highly encourage you to go to georgialarmatix.com, purchase a beer fest ticket. I'm about to dive into these gar... What kind of wings are these, JJ? Garlic <laughs> buffalo. Garlic butter ranch wing. Parmesan. Buffalo Ooh, garlic parmesan. barter. You can say that's ranch. a five-way wing. That's right. Well, it was Ooh. a pleasure as always, sir. Thank you, Chef. You did an amazing job. Till next Funday Friday. Till next Funday Friday. Remember, 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 when we load this video up on YouTube, there will be a contest so you can win some stuff. But the only way to know what the contest is and how to participate is to watch that full video and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. Set your notifications. We have run very, very long on this last segment. Thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend. Be safe. And we'll see you at the Rec Tech. Do, 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 do. Garlic bread lasagna, chicken wings, and alligator.